Hey guys, today we are going to talk about can Alpha Investment save MetaZoo? And I think after the Mike Waddell thing, I think he's the only one who can save MetaZoo. MetaZoo is obviously not in a super enviable position right now. MetaZoo is basically, I mean, Mike Waddell looks like he's in some type of prison, you know, with his fluffy hair and so on. It's kind of interesting that he did the whatnot stream recently, but he's still mad. Uh, he's probably mad that people are making money from his game. I think that's probably correct. I read a comment from a user of mine, and I get it. The only person who can save Meta Zoo is Alpha Investment. And why do I feel this way? Um, I feel this way because he still his cards are only cards with value. Now, are they the $8,200 that he was selling them at? No, but do they still have value? I think you would be hard-pressed to say that they don't have value. A lot of the most expensive cards are still promos of his. Again, they're not super expensive. They're not as valuable as they once were, but nonetheless, they do have some value. And I would go ahead and say that in terms of the longevity of this game, Rudy promos would probably outlast most of the regular cards outside Grails, right? So thinking about uh, the situation in hand and thinking about how MetaZoo can actually save itself, it would need Rudy to buy the, them from Oblivion. Simply put, without Rudy, the game is nothing. I know there's a small audience and so on, but as the game got larger and larger and got as an investment, it's like heavy bags. As long as you're not the one holding heavy bags, I mean, we're all we've all grown up with like Duck Duck Goose and you know fighting for a chair and so on, right? As long as you're not the one who doesn't have a chair when the music ends, you're pretty happy, right? It doesn't matter about all those other people without chairs. It's as long as you're not the one with the heavy bags. And we, we get it. I mean, what Hot Potato, there's so many children's games. If you think about it, it's kind of rudimentary what they're doing here. Um, there's so many children's games that tell you, hey, you don't want to be the one holding the hot potato or heavy bag. And that's where I kind of am. The, the music has, Rudy is the only one who can turn back on the music. He's got to have the music turned back on and then the heavy bag shift and something happens with, you know, and then eventually, hopefully people here like learn that it's time to get rid of my heavy bags. The Meta Zoo community on a whole is quite negative. Uh, I think that's why Rudy is pretending that he does not know. He's never, he's never bought a Meta Zoo card. He's never invested in a Meta Zoo. All the positive videos are removed and all that remains is all the negative videos about Meta Zoo which then would indicate that, oh, he was telling people not to buy MetaZoo, right? So that was kind of what, what his impression right now is. But if he, well, I mean, if he's got really a million dollars, he's got pretty heavy bags. So he's probably thinking, how do I offload these heavy bags via the grading system, whatever it is, he, it's not only heavy bags, it's, taking his storage facilities, taking a storage room. It's overall just a very, very bad thing to have. Um, and again, he has a home, but the home does not have infinite space. It is just a home. And any home can fill up a garbage really fast, and especially if it's a million dollars in MetaZoo. I'm sure he is trying to offload that even if it means having less money, right? Uh, having, having less money. So I think he's the only one who can save it. People will debate this. I think it is quite debatable. I, I do feel like it is something that um, people are going to find offensive because they don't really get it. Um, in my opinion, the, the, the price of the game is important to the health of the game. And like I said, it is heavy bags. And you gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move. And when the music stops, you got to get out. Now, you can continue to play this field until music, enjoy yourself until the music does stop. But you have to understand that the music will stop. 
this is not something where the music will continue forever. On the other flip side, right, um, I would definitely suggest and even even mention that if you are invested in MetaZoo, the only person who can help you get out of your position is somebody like Alpha Investments. Um, a lot of its cards have gone down a ton, um, and they're shown by eBay. TCG Player does actually almost no liquidity anymore. It's all on eBay or maybe private Facebook groups. So they're selling for even less. Uh, it's not a good time to be in an investor. I, I guess like the question is, was it ever a good time to be an investor in MetaZoo? Probably not. Uh, but he's the only one who can save it because he's the only one who adds value adds value to it. And it is his face on the game. So I, again, this is different from Sorcery or even Flesh and Blood. I mean, he's got the $1,000 Rudy promo, right? The Gem Keeper promo, which Flesh and Blood probably regrets giving it to him. Um, I'm pretty sure that they are trying to disconnect him themselves from Rudy. And Pokemon's never done a collab with Rudy, and I don't think it ever will. Neither will Magic the Gathering. Um, he's talked very negatively about these products in the past, and that's probably why they probably won't ever reach out to him and do a collab, even though he is a larger channel. But MetaZoo, I mean, MetaZoo, the only lifeline is Rudy. I hate to tell you this, guys. It's not Mike Waddell. Uh, Mike Waddell had a kick... And you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what I believe it was. Mike Waddell did a Kickstarter. It raised very little money. I think it raised like $10,000 or less. Then Rudy became involved. Then he did the exact same Kickstarter or similar Kickstarter and raised like a million. Right? Like, let me let me confirm this. I'm pretty sure I've seen this. MetaZoo Kickstarter. That they actually did two Kickstarters. Uh, it did 1.85 million. 1.9 million, essentially. Um But Mike Waddell did a Kickstarter in April of 20. 2022 before Rudy and he only had 255 backers pledging $18,249 I hate to tell you this but that's the reality of the game that, that's the reality there's 255 people who actually love the game which is now shown today but then when he did a second Kickstarter let me read you this number 5,366 backers pledged so we went from 200, we, we basically 20x our backers, right? And that was only in a, a year. Actually, you know what? I'm going to screenshot this because this is pretty crazy stuff. Uh, I, I had no idea this is uh, this is what actually it is. Yeah, you know what? I can actually prove it to you right now. It, it's Kickstarter, right? So it's two different Kickstarters for the same exact product. And one Kickstarter had 255 backers. The other one had just an insane amount of backers. So I'm actually going to do something I never do, which is I, I edit the video out. Anyway, it's pretty crazy stuff, guys. Um, that like 255 players who love the game. Maybe you can 10x that number because not everyone joined the Kickstarter. That sounds about right for what the MetaZoo community naturally would have been. But then you add Alpha Investment. I mean, you're going, I mean, now you're 20xing your player base. Quote, player base. I guess it's really just 20xing your investment base. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.